الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعه فمن يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد واهتدى ومن يعص الله ورسوله فقد ضل وغوى فانه لا يضر الا نفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا نسال الله ربنا ان يجعلنا ممن يطيعه ويطيع رسوله ويتبع رضوانه ويجتنب سخطه فانما نحن به ولا اما بعد فان خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم والشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار فاعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم من همزه ونفخه ونفثه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان عده الشهور عند الله 12 شهرا شهر في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والارض منها اربعه حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن انفسكم وقاتلوا المشركين كافه كما يقاتلونكم كافه واعلموا ان الله مع المتقين indeed the number of months with allah almighty is 12 lunar months it's written in his book from the day he created the heavens and the earth this is the correct and simple and plain religion fala tadlimu fihinna anfusakum so don't do wrong in these months with yourself allah almighty has created us me and you people for the test and examination in this world and this test 
and this examination is going on in different shapes and different phases. So, like any other creatures, time and space is also uh, an aspect in which we are being tested. So, there is no time or no, no space and no place which is itself glorious or magnified or virtuous and there is no single day or time, point of time or even the segment of this earth is cursed in its own nature. Actually, everything which is graced or cursed, that's by the commandment of Allah Almighty, by the saying of Allah Almighty or His Messenger, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So when we say, there are so many points of time which are graced, which are told by the Holy Prophet ﷺ. For example, there is a point of time in the day of uh, the day today, which is Friday, there is a point of time which is graced. So there is a time which is graced between Thursday and Friday, which is called the night of Juma. So even some moments are graced in every night by the saying of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. So same is with the day of Thursday and, Friday and Monday as the Holy Prophet ﷺ used to observe fasting of these two days. So we can call all these days are graced and virtuous and all these moments and specific moments which are specified by the, by the saying of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, they are magnified in virtue and grace uh, in uh, uh, in respect of our uh, in respect of its grace but as far as quran says that those do, do those all days in which the nation of ad they were given torment and they were, they were given punishment. All the, the days were cursed days. The Holy, the Holy Quran says, Ayyamin nahisatin. All the days were cursed days in which the nation of Ad was given torment by, the, by Allah Almighty. And how many days they were cursed? The Quran itself says, Saba layalim wa thamaniyat ayyamin husuma. These were seven nights and eight days uh, consistently, uh, conjectively, seven, day, seven nights and eight days. So in those seven, seven nights and eight days, the Friday, and the blessed moments of Friday, blessed moments of uh, Friday night, blessed moment of every night, blessed moments of uh, Monday and uh, Thursday, all the moments are 
in which included but quran says ayyam in hisatin they were they are not blessed days they are not graced days but they were cursed days ayyam in hisat what does it mean it means that any moment is not graced are not cursed unless there are the acts which are done and which is being done in those days is that act reason of curse or reason of grace by the by allah almighty so if we do the righteous righteous deeds it means that each and every day can be blessed and graced and if we do the deeds in which the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah almighty is refuted and the commandments are refuted it means that we are doing and we are making our days and nights cursed as compared to the blessed so in all these this context i have uh, just recited aya number 36 from surah toba in which allah almighty says that uh, number of all the days all the months and uh, counting of all the months or calculation of all the months is 12 as we know there are 12 months in a lunar year but this is not from any specific point of time after the creation of the universe but that was from the date and from the point right from the creation creation of this universe yawma khalaqa samawati wal ard so right from the day the time and space was created so the calculation and number of months were was 12 and allah almighty says uh minha arbaatun hurum four were sacred months in those 12 months which are uh made a calculation of the time uh right from the creation of this universe heaven and earth the calculation was made 12 and uh, out of these 12 four are sacred so which one are sacred and how they are which four months are sacred and why they were more makes made sacred this is uh, explained by the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a hadith of bukhari the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says qad istadara az-zaman qad istadara kay ka hay'atihi the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the time that has turned back at the point which is its original shape it means that there could be in this in this uh, uh the whole history there could be some time when uh the months were not 12 there could be number of number of months less than 12 there could be number of months more than 12 but now qad istadara az zaman qad istadara ka hayatihi now the time has turned back to its original shape and what is that that is in iddat ash-shuhur inda allah hisna as-sanatu as-12 shahra the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says what does it mean that time has turned to its origin turned back to its original shape what does it mean it means that as-sanatu ash-12 shahra the year is of 12 lunar months 
منها أربعة حرم and out of these twelve four are sacred months and which four months are sacred the holy prophet ﷺ says ثلاث متواليات three are conjunctive months ذو الحجة ذو القادة ذو الحجة والمحرم three are conjunctive and one is رجب بين جمادة وشعبان which is between Jumadu Thani wa Sha'ban, that is Rajab. So these four are uh, sacred months. Who says, Allah Almighty says in Quran, these are the sacred months. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu says these are the sacred months. But this are, these are not associated with any, these are not associated with any incident. These are associated with, with, with the saying of Allah Almighty and with the saying, saying of the Holy Prophet So, and when they are made sacred, right from the day, the creation of this universe took place. So, these are sacred and this is not only Muharram, this is not only the virtue of and grace of Muharram. They, they, there are four months and four have equal uh, virtue and four are four has the all four has equal, have equal uh, grace by Allah Almighty as the saying of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and saying of Allah Almighty is there. So, as far as the Muharram is concerned, that is made virtuous with the association of uh, an incident which took place uh, exactly half a century after the Holy Prophet Sallallahu demise. And uh, you all know this ayah, this verse was revealed on the Holy Prophet Sallallahu اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. The deen was completed and perfected, and this was the perfection and the completion of deen was had took place in the time of the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم before his demise. So when deen was complete and perfect. At that point of time, what and how an incident which took place half a century after the Holy Prophet Sallallahu demise can be a part of deen and can be associated with the virtue of this month. So if uh, this practice takes place in deen, the the incidents which are being uh, we are which are which are uh, going to occur and which are going to take place after the holy prophet ﷺ, till today if some incidents and important incidents if they are uh, important in our history but they have no significance in deen which was completed at the time of the Holy Prophet Even then, as far as the month of Muharram is concerned, this Muharram has a significance, a significance being sacred out of four months. This has a significance. One more significance is there for this specific month which is uh, explained by the Holy Prophet ﷺ and, and uh, uh, being practiced and the Holy Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba companions they used to practice. What was that? That was to observe fasting in the month of Muharram. The Holy Prophet ﷺ said Afdalu sayami ba'da shahri lahir Muharram بأفضل الصيام بعد رمضان الشهر 
الشهر الله المحرم أفضل الصيام بعد رمضان شهر الله المحرم The Holy Prophet says the best fasting best fast the best fasting after the month of Ramadan the best fasting after the month of Ramadan is the fasting of this month which is Allah's month month of Allah Shahrullah so it means that the Holy Prophet وسلم, says Muharram is month of Allah this is Allah's month that is another significance which is uh, described by the Holy Prophet وسلم, this is the month of Allah so we will say and we uh, will have to say this is the month of Allah and the third significance is to observe fasting in this month so once a person asked the holy prophet وسلم, which uh, which namaz which salat is uh, best after the obligated salat and which siyam or which fasting is best after the uh, month of Ramadan the Holy Prophet وسلم, said the best salat the best prayer which is to be offered uh, after the obligated salat that is which is which is uh, offered during night time so the prayer of night salat of night that is best after the obligated salat al maktuba after the obligated salat that is the best and as far as the fasting is concerned ba'da ramadan after the holy month of ramadan that is of the month of muharram and once again the holy prophet sallallahu said shahrullah al muharram so this is the month of allah and to observe fasting in this month month is uh, very very much important and the holy prophet sallallahu used to observe fasting in this month and more specifically as far as the 10th date 10th day of this month is concerned which is called ashur this is not once again associated with any incident which has taken place after the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam half a century after the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is once again not associated with any incident the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when he migrated from mecca to medina they saw that uh, the jews they observe fasting on the day of on the 10th day of muharram the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and asked why they observe fasting on this day they said allah almighty saved musa alaihi salam and his nation on this day and uh, firaun and his nation was drowned in this day so we uh, observe fasting as a uh, thanks day so holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said we have the more right and more uh, the more association with musa than them so we will fast as well the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to fast on the day of 10th day of ramadan which is 10th day of muharram which is called ashur and he uh, ordered his companions as well to observe fasting at this uh, and this uh, this day once a companion asked what's the benefit 
of this uh, uh, specific fast, fasting of 10th uh, day of Muharram. What's the benefit? The Holy Prophet said, it will uh, be a reason your, uh, your sins will be forgiven for the previous whole year. Due to this only, uh, this day of uh, fasting of the day of Ashur. So look, this is the significance which is uh, demonstrated, which is described by the, by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu at his time. So no incident is associated and can be associated with this. And uh, as far as the fasting of Ashur is concerned, one more uh, point should be uh, specifically should we keep in mind that is the Holy Prophet ﷺ was told that this uh, day is significant uh, uh, near the Jews. So why we also respect this day? The Holy Prophet ﷺ uh, said that when there will be coming year, we will uh, fast on the day of Ninth Muharram, but uh, the narrate the uh, uh, the companion said uh, the next year couldn't come, and the Rasulullah Ras sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was uh, uh, died. So next year didn't didn't come, and the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said we will fast on the 9th of uh, uh, Ashur. So, what we should observe, the fasting of 9th or fasting of 10th. The narrator of this hadith is Abdullah bin Abbas. Abdullah bin Abbas himself explains, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he himself explains that sumu attase wal ashir wa khalif al yahud we must uh, observe fasting of 9th and 10th and Khaliful Yahud and oppose, oppose the Yahud. So this is the actual uh, fadila, actual virtue, actual grace, actual significance of this month and we must observe uh, fasting in the whole month if, if we can but at least we must Observe fasting of 9th and 10th of Muharram. This is the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu And that's, that's all about the significance of this month of Muharram. May Allah Almighty uh, give us tawfiq to be true Muslim. Wa akhru da'wana anilhamdulillah rabbil alameen.